I was teaching class one day, and a student named Michael stick his tongue out at me. Now, I was teaching probably something equally as engaging as Manifest Destiny, and he stuck his tongue out at me. And it struck me as strange that day. I went, Mikey, I think it's weird that you stick your tongue out at me. And he goes, why? And I said, I don't know why people do that. It's like you said, Mr. Steger, I disapprove of the requirement of complete sentences. In order to demonstrate my disapproval, I'm going to show you what I taste things with. <laughs> I used to work security at these country concerts and rock concerts, and whenever I'd work security at the uh, country concerts, there would be thousands of cowboys and wannabe cowboys. And when they really liked the country music, they would take off their hat like this and hold it up and go, woo. <laughs> and it's like they were saying, Dirk Bentley, really like you. <laughs> And I like that song about that little white tank top. <laughs> Won't you look inside my hat? <laughs> it was just a strange way to demonstrate approval. And then I had another student. Riley was legit. She ended up being class president uh, later when she got to high school. And she said, Mr. Steger, when somebody does a good job, we could show them our shoes. And I went, um... Why, Riley? Why would we do that? And she said, it's not any dumber than that cowboy hat thing, and it's more original than clapping. <laughs> and I went, okay, Riley, sounds like a great idea. And I didn't think anything else of it. And then, probably a week later in class, anybody tell me what peculiar institution means? And Levi raises his hand and said, peculiar institution, that's what the South used to use as a term for slavery to kind of make it more uh, not so harsh. And Riley went, oh, Forgot that. Good answer, Levi. <laughs> and because Riley was a leader, the rest of the kids went and all took off their shoes and held it up. And Riley made a consistent habit out of this. Sometimes other students would walk through and they'd be like, Mr. Stecker, what's up with the shoe thing? I said, uh, Riley says it's a way that we can tell people they did a good job. So if you think somebody did a good job, make sure you take off your shoes and hold them up. And then my other four history classes all start to do this all the time. Anytime somebody does a good answer, every once in a while, even at the end of the day, hey, Mr. Steger, that lecture didn't suck. Here's my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> and it started to go and spread further and further. I couldn't go around town without seeing shoes. I was in the mall one day and I hear Mr. Stecker and I turn around and there's Ellie and she's got both her flip-flops off and she's holding around her head like bunny ears. And her mom's like, put your shoes on, we're in the mall. I was riding my bike down the street one day and I hear this honk honk and there's a pair of Doc Martens dangling outside an Escalade window. I went to a uh, the donut shop and it was a little sixth grader. I didn't have this little sixth grader in class, but every time he saw me on Sunday morning of the donut shop, he would take off his shoes and show them to me. It happened, it became more than just a positive acknowledgement, it became a way to say, hello. And then every year we had a student staff basketball game. But they introduce all the teachers and you would play against uh, the eighth grade boys and girls. And they'd announce all the teachers and say nicknames and the whole nine yards. And they said, you know, whoa, 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 Mr. Stegger. And my entire eighth grade class up in the stands takes their shoes off and holds them in the air. And the other eighth grade class is like, all right. And then the sixth and seventh grade, like, eighth grade, just do it. <laughs> And my principal's looking at me like, what are you doing to these kids? But it got to be bigger than me. I couldn't stop it. One of my good buddies, Brian Cashlin, the other history teacher, called me up one day and said, oh, you know what, the shoe thing you do, the shoe thing, have you, been, have you been watching the Husker game? He said, well, I saw Chad, didn't Chad, was he in your class? I was like, yeah, I think Chad's younger brother was in my class. Anyway, I was watching him, and there was a like kickoff, and I showed the student section, and Chad took his shoe off and held it in the air. <laughs> and then everybody did, you're global. It's ESPN. I, went, I, I think they just do that for a kickoff, but thanks. So, But it got to be one of those things where I ended up not having it be something that I thought it was going to be this big, and it blew up bigger than me. It became one of those traditions that was organic. I didn't get in the way of it, and it was really student-driven, and to this day, there will still be... All the students come back and visit me at Emerson Elementary and say, are you doing the shoe thing at Emerson? 